a perfect perfect shiny golden autumn keep going in saint petersburg russia my previous video i stopped there on the corner of tulska and novgorodska streets and i told you that in the next video actually in this one i will cross neva river through grand okta bridge and we'll go to okta okta district so that's where i am my name is sergey baklikov this is Baklikov Live. So let's begin another golden autumn walk in St. Petersburg. This is Smolne embankments of Neva River. Smolne, because it's next to Smolny Cathedral, designed by an architect Francesco Bartolomeo Rastrelli. This is the park of Smolny Institutes, a former institute of noble maiden, but now the building of the administration of St. Petersburg. Neva, Neva mother. Beautiful Neva, the main river of St. Petersburg, which is connecting the Gulf of Finland, of Baltic Sea and Lake Ladoga. There on the other side, there's Ochtinsky Mys. Oh, the Cape, one of really significant historic places where back in the days, yet before the foundation of St. Petersburg, there was a uh, Swedish fortress, Nienschanz. And this territory actually for uh, centuries was the place of the resistance between the uh, people of Novgorod, Russia, and Sweden and this is a, a great Grand Okta Bridge Bolshoi Okhtinsky Grand Okta Bridge also known as the Bridge of Peter the Great Peter the Great the construction here started in 1808 and finished in 1811 so here we can see the proof signs about it Look, the length of the bridge is about 350 meters, the width 26 meters. In 1990, in 1990s, here was a general maintenance of the bridge. It was reopened in 1998. Yeah, look, the beginning. The beginning of 20th century, back in those days, such a metallic constructions, metallic design was really trendy. It was really trendy back in the beginning of 20th century. Neva River, the other bridge there, Alexander Nevsky Bridge. And the next bridge, it's Litini Bridge there. We don't see it from here, but I'm just telling you. The bridges consisted of three departments, if I can say so, where the second department in the middle that's the uh, drawbridge part. That part which is getting raised for a big commercial vessels to go through. And those awesome towers of Grand Okta Bridge. Only once for the history of the bridge, they allowed the people to go there it was in 2011 in the year of 100 years anniversary of the bridge
the observation platform. If you want to stay here, just enjoy the view. So you see here, they are projected such a place. So you can stay here and not to be a problem for those who just hurry up to walk through. Nice. So you see, this is the uh, middle part. That's the part which is getting raised here. Awesome. Awesome. The river is traffic here. By the way, the architects of the bridge are Grigori Krivashein and Vladimir Apushkov. Awesome Russian engineers. There was the international competition for the projects, for the bridge. 16 projects of 16 companies from all over the world participated in the uh, competition but won the projects of our engineers Okay, so this is how we are from the central district of St. Petersburg coming to Ochta. This district is named after Ochta River, which begins there, the confluence of Neva River and Ochta. Yeah, and that's the historic place of Nienshan's Swedish fortress. There were many archaeological excavations. And now here goes the creation of the historic and architectural um, space. Preserve, yeah, preserve. The historic and architectural preserve. Already for several years, they are working on the creation of that. So, this is it. 350 meters. And we've got to Okta district. Now I just gotta go to the Red Guardia Square. Yeah, this district is actually called Red Guardia District of Okta. There begins Sredny Okhtinsky Prospect, Middle Okta Avenue. 
that's where I will take a walk in the next video. Stay tuned, Sergey Baklukov, Baklukov Live, St. Petersburg, Russia.